All right, let's go ahead and bounce through the process for getting your shore-based shark fishing permit. I did not know that I needed one. Um, 2019 apparently is when this came out or when they started this. And you need to take this annually. So we're going to be on two different sites here as we move along. Actually, the first one here is going to be the Learning My FWC remote-learner.net. I will go ahead and put a link to that down in the description of the video so you can just bounce right to that. Once you come to this website, you're going to need to create an account. I'm already logged in. Uh, matter of fact, I'll just log out real quick. Log out. You'll see a login screen right, or login button over here on the top right corner. Go ahead and click on it. When you do that, if you're already uh, set up an account, you would just click login. If not, it'll say, is this your first time here? You're going to go right here and create a new account. Real simple. You're just going to go ahead and put in some basic information, username, a password, this other information here, email address, email address, and then go ahead and click to create my new account. So really, really simple. No big deal. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And we'll go ahead and jump into what we're looking for here. And this is the course that we're going to need to take. Now, from here, as soon as you log in, the first page you come to, you're going to find the course. You don't have to go all over the place looking around. Just simply scroll down. First thing you got is courses for uh, gopher tortoises. That's obviously not what we're looking for. Uh, we get down here to the shellfish. That's not it here. Wildlife training and certification. Uh, make sure y'all yeah, did pass it. Come on down to the shore-based shark smart fishing. Okay, this would be the one that you need to take. This is the course we're going to talk about here to go ahead and get your license. Now, this is an annual license, so next year you're going to have to take it again, but next year you're going to take the refresher, which is right here, the shore-based shark smart refresher course. And once you go ahead and go through that, then you can go ahead and get your license again. Uh, the license is free. The course is free, so don't worry about that. It's just a process you have to go through. If you are going to be fishing for sharks from shore, from a pier, from a jetty, anything like that, if you're out on a boat fishing for sharks, you do not need to do this. But if you are inshore, let's go ahead and jump into this right now. So we're going to click on shore based. This is going to bring up the general information here. Uh, none of this really pertains to you at this point. This talks about the refresher course here. Uh, this one, this information you might want to just browse through real quick. And then the uh, next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and start your course. We have module one, two, three, and four that you're going to have to go through. The first one is just kind of some general introduction information, but pay attention. There is um, some important stuff in here. Regulations is another one that uh, it, you're going to have to really pay attention to. Really what it comes down to to pass this course is just put your take, you know, just put away all the distractions, put away your phone, put away, you know, turn off the TV, get yourself in a quiet space and go ahead and uh, just really dig in and pay attention to, to it's it's not that difficult. I kind of overthought it before I took it thinking oh, I'm going to have to like uh, right here shark ID. I thought I was going to have to be able to ID every day gum shark in the in the seas and that's not the case but um this is an important section because it's gonna be really helpful sometimes you get onto a shark you bring it in you're not quite sure what the heck it is and uh depending on where the dorsal fin is in relation to the pectoral fin that's gonna let you know a lot as far as which type of shark that it is um pointed nose blunt no rounded nose different things like that but uh, so definitely pay attention to this once you've gone through all four of the modules then you're going to go ahead and take your quiz now to take your when you take your quiz you've got to you're going to score 10 out of 10 there's 10 questions you got to get every one of them correct or you're going to have to go back and redo the test again okay and you can redo it as many times as it takes to go ahead and pass it it's not that difficult uh, to bounce through and do it you should be able to pass it on your first go around if you've paid attention and then once you've done that you're going to get a certificate i'll go ahead and show you what th that looks like this um, on that certificate is a and this is your unique identification code. So this is my unique identification code. You cannot use this. So don't try and copy this off the screen and go and shortcut this because it's not going to work. It's already been used. It belongs to me. You're going to get your own unique code. So once you have that unique code, you're going to jump over to the Go Florida site. This is where you get your licenses, 
Uh, so, so you should be familiar with this. This is for your regular saltwater, freshwater hunting, all that kind of stuff. Um, I will link this up as well in the description below. Go over here if you do not have an account. You probably you should already have an account over here, though. Um, if you don't, just go ahead and sign up for one. And then once you do, you're going to go ahead and go to the menu up here on the top right. That's going to drop down. And you're going to go to the license catalog, which is right here. Now, you won't see, I don't see the license in mine in this section because I already have it. So it's no longer an option for me in here. But you're going to find it under the saltwater fishing section. You'll scroll down and you will see a listing for the shore based shark uh, permit. And once you see that, you're going to go over here. You're going to click on add to cart. Now, you don't, it's free, but you have to go through it like you're purchasing it, but it's not going to cost you anything. You'll click on add to cart. You'll come up here. You'll see it show up as one item in your cart. Click on the cart. When you get over there, um, you're going to copy your unique certification number. Like I showed you here, you're going to copy this number. And when you go through the purchase process, it's going to have a box there that says, please enter your certification number. Just paste it in there. Go ahead and continue on with the purchase. Again, it's going to be $0.00. Click submit, and then it'll go ahead and add it to your list of things that you have um, through this website. I have my fresh water, my salt water, I've got my reef fishing, and I got my shark permit. So you'll see it in your lineup of things that you have. But for now, let's go ahead and jump back over to the course. I'll go ahead and jump into the introduction so you can see how this is set up. Let me go ahead and unplug this here so we don't have to listen to music. Um, or listen to what they're saying but basically this is how each of the modules looks it's set up this way it's a slideshow presentation where somebody's going to be talking through the whole thing you have to go through each one of these sections here as you go through each section again somebody's going to talk through it so pay attention to what they're saying pay attention to what's on the screen because it's going to matter and then once you get done with the section you're going to go ahead and click here okay so i'm done with this module i'm going to click finish then you're going to scroll up to the top right. You're going to click on this blue button. It's going to basically send you out of there. Exit. And it's going to send you back to this page that you started on. So now you're done with module one. It'll show a green like it is here. And I think it's blue color when uh, before you do it. But green once, you've come, once you said you're done. Okay, then you're going to go to module two. Same thing, module three, four. Once you feel good about all your... Uh, everything you've learned then you're going to go ahead and click on taking the quiz okay when you take the quiz it's going to be again 10 questions one question at a time answer them um they're multiple choice um yeah multiple choice there might be a true or false or two in there um, go ahead and answer them up when you get done with the 10th question you'll have an option to either go back and re-answer questions if you're kind of mm, scratching your head thinking did i get that right or if you feel confident that you've got them all right, go ahead and submit your uh, answers and it'll let you know immediately if you have passed or not. And if you have, it, it'll show, it shows all the questions down below that you got right. So I'm gonna give you, I got them all right on the first go around. So I'm gonna guess that if you have one wrong, it'll probably show you which one you got wrong. As you go through each question, it's also gonna show you which module that question comes from. Um, just so you know if that matters and then uh, again once you have your certificate you'll get that like I said, showed you here you'll see this as your cert, uh, certificate of completion and your unique code here so uh, not real difficult to take just something that you have to do they went ahead and decided to uh, go ahead and put this in play uh, which means that if you don't do it and you happen to get approached by FWC or any of the guys that uh marine guys that happen to come up and uh, ask you if you get your shark license to be fishing from shore and you don't have it then uh, they're probably going to write you a nice little ticket and uh potentially they can take your equipment usually they don't usually they're just going to write you a ticket but uh you don't want to get into that kind of deal you know or you're going to run into having to pay anything like that because that can get a little expensive so with that i'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video if you have any questions whatsoever uh, regarding anything I talked about in this, just comment below and uh, I'll go ahead and answer those for you. And if you uh, 
are actively out there shark fishing, let us know what's your favorite species that you've uh, been targeting. What's your favorite shark uh, to eat? Uh, some say bull is the best, and uh, others say that um, black tip's better. So those are the main two that people kind of target as far as putting on the dinner table. So uh, let us know in the comment section below. Well, thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one.